Hey, hey G fam. I'm Pastor Gus. And I'm Pastor Liza. And, and we, we want to wish, wish you a happy, happy new year. year. Please, Please stay, stay tuned for our new year's word. word. Hey, God's family, it's Pastor Liza, and I'm bringing you the word for God's family for 2023. The word for 2023 is I see miracles. The father said to tell his people that in this year, we will see more miracles in the kingdom of God, but not just the glory of God manifested through signs and wonders, but that God himself said he will be able to see more believers, more of his children, the chosen, looking like Jesus, moving in the power of the Holy Spirit and manifesting his glory on earth. There will be more salvation, more deliverance, more healing, more prophecy, more people raising others from the dead, more wonders of heaven showing up here on earth and more atmosphere shifting. There will be more leaders bringing the best of new wine in this year because they will be making true disciples of all nations. They will make disciples who become leaders of new wine lifestyles themselves. There will be more believers looking like and operating from the will of the father, not the will of man. There will be more that are willing to feed the families to restore what is broken in those that have lost their way. There will be more willing to leave false doctrine and bring more truth of the true Jesus this year. More of those willing to be used by God because they know how to follow Jesus. They've been through the purification process. And last year, the process that they went through in the year of the warrior was a success. There will be more who will bring the new wine from their vessels as the trials they have gone through in 2022 prepare them to recognize that they are in true partnership with God and not man. More whose doctrine represents the new wine and the new covenant and gives the ultimate understanding that the father is in control, that Jesus is the way and that the Holy Spirit has power. So in order to understand, I see miracles. What the father did was take me back to Jesus's first miracle when he was in Cana and he attended a wedding. And what the Lord began to, to speak to me through this was that the true first miracle was the fact that we, as the people of God, as believers, our first filled and cleansed and purified with water in order to be transformed into a vessel that looks like Jesus, that can produce new wine in others, that can help others understand the partnership with God. And so I want to paint the picture for you. First of all, location is everything. Atmosphere is everything. They're in Cana. Cana means council. So they're in the council of God and they're at an event that's a wedding. A wedding, when you interpret it into spiritual terms, it's a partnership. And so Jesus comes in with his apostles as an invitee into this wedding, but there's a master of ceremonies. There's a master of ceremonies. But when he comes in, there's a problem. And his mother begins to tell him the problem is that, that there is no more wine. There's no more wine here. Well, first we need to establish what kind of wine. Well, the Bible shows in John chapter two, verses one through 12, that it was called the best wine and that it had run out to run out of anything. First of all, in a Jewish wedding, uh, First of all, as a sign of disrespect, it's a, it's a something that you would not want to do. So this was imperative in this partnership that there was no disrespect. That there was nothing going on that can hinder the relationship between the bride and the bridegroom. And so they so Mary knew she went to Jesus who was man in the flesh, God in the flesh, but man at the time and said, I need you to help because she understood what was in her son. However, Jesus said to her first, 
woman, my time has not yet come because he had to go to the father to check, to see when the solution to the problem was going to be brought. She said to the, to the people that were with Jesus, the other servants, anything he tells you to do, do it. When he did finally speak to give instruction, Jesus said, I want you to fill the water pots that are there with water. Now these water pots weren't only regular water pots. See, they were ceremonial. They were pots used for cleansing and purification. So when the water was put into them, they were filled up to the brim. And then Jesus using the deity power within him of God changed it into wine that when it was given to the master of ceremonies, he said, most people, most bridegrooms wait. They give the best wine and then they give the cheaper wine later when their uh, guests have drunken enough, but you have given the good wine last, the best wine last. What was he signifying? See in this partnership with God, man's wine will always run out. Man's wine, though it could be the best thing that he's giving, like they gave at the beginning of this wedding, though it's the best of man, it's not the best of God. But in order to give the best of God, you have to be purified. Your vessel has to be filled up with water. That's the Holy Spirit. That's representation of the Holy Spirit. Once it's filled up and it's purified, then the new wine can come. See, it was in the taste test that the master of ceremonies was able to taste the best of what came from Jesus. So what God is truly trying to say to you, God's family, is that the new wine, the first miracle Jesus ever did was helping his apostles, his leaders, his disciples understand that transformation, becoming a child of God, becoming one that, that can represent the new covenant of Jesus that when others taste it, they will know it and they will see it. That's the first miracle. That's the best miracle. That's the initial thing that God wants his family to understand. See, his disciples were with him to see this not just to see a sign or a wonder. It was for them to understand that their first miracle, their first duty is to turn others into followers of Christ producing new wine like he did to follow his example. And even his mother knew this when she told them, do everything he tells you. The wedding was a significance family of God that in the partnership, we become one with God. See, when Jesus said, my time has not yet come, it was because he said, I do everything of my father. His father had to tell him in man form that it was time. He was still teaching as he was going through and showing them the miracle. He was showing them that we are miracles, that they were going through the miracle process. And as a result, they are to give that to others. See, the first true miracle is going from being willing vessels, being purified, to producing the best of what Jesus has put in you to give to others. You know, the Bible says that becoming a Christian, becoming one who follows Jesus is being reborn. And they said that when Jesus was born, he was the first miracle. So to be reborn is to re-represent the birth of Christ, the Christ in you that others will see in 2023. 
So when God said, I see miracles this year for God's family, what he is saying is I see more people in my family producing the best wine. I see more of my chosen producing the true miracles, which are more children of God. Those who follow my son, Jesus, those who can manifest my glory in my instruction. These are the remnant, the ones giving the people more of me because they have been purified, because they have understood how to partner with me, because they are the ones ones that's filled with the water of the Holy Spirit and now able to produce the best wine, not only in themselves, but in others. That others, when they see and taste, they will know that I am good. They are now able to do what my son Jesus did when he was on the earth. They will be able to produce the miracles that he was doing and then some, as he stated. They will be helping others to transform into the first miracle. And as producers of the best wine this year, those that are chosen, those that are leaders will see that this new wine in 2023 will bring the best to come yet in your journey with Christ, because it's not coming from man. It's coming from God. And this is the meaning of the two shall become one. God's family, I hope that you receive. I hope that the father will see you as a miracle. I hope that you will begin to see the miracles in others that you have had a hand in giving them the new covenant, giving them more of Jesus, giving them the truth of the doctrine that is Christ. And that I pray that you would manifest the glory of God into new heights and new dimensions in this year because you are capable of it with God. With God, all things are possible. God bless you and we wish you a very, very happy new year in Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm.